Welcome back guys, my name is Edogs82 and today we're going to continue playing some more of Blood and Gold Caribbean. I hope you guys haven't uh, missed it for too long, I know it's been a couple of days. Um, pardon me. Just uh, to explain a little bit before we jump in, in the last part you saw me get uh, beaten down by some native tribesmen and sent to a plantation and in that episode I also managed to work together with the other plantation workers and escape from the plantation but for some reason my save file didn't actually uh, save after that point. My game stopped responding, and I was unable to save after I stopped the recording. So now we're not actually back in the same place. We haven't been taken prisoner and put on a plantation. We're still as a pirate out in the Caribbean and doing okay. See, this was the plantation that we had been held at, but now we're back on our ship and we're doing okay. Just want to see if you guys close this. But yeah, as you can see, we've got our Warbrigantine still. We've got a party with a new party member, Jose Dialba. And. He's level 5, he's got decent stats, as you can see. Uh, let's take a look at his equipment real quick. So he's got a rich small sword, a fancy hat, fancy jacket, riding boots, and common gloves. So he's fairly well equipped, I have to say so myself. We can't quite use our infantry armor just yet, but when we level up, we will be able to. We've got some Buccaneer Musketeers, French Renegades, a Spanish Renegade, Buccaneer Fighters, and some Buccaneer Sailors that we've picked up. So, we've got a group of 75 men, and we're ready to do battle with anyone that comes against us in the Caribbean. So here we go, let's go look for a ship battle against some outlaws. There's some Spanish, it's a convoy. Mm, I could go after them. What's my cargo hold look like? Kind of full. We definitely outnumber them and our troops can definitely beat them down. But I'm worried about their guns. Their guns might be too much to take, but we'll give it a try anyways. I think our pirate brethren are going to get them before I do. <laughs> yeah, they did. So let's keep moving, find our own prize. Okay, so we've got 70 picaroons here. Let's take a shot at them. They've got a snow. Let's engage them. All right. So, as you can see, we're moving quite fast. 31. That's actually quite fast for maneuvering on the sea like this. Because we're going with the wind, sort of. And that definitely determines how good your... Um, ship is like man straight up how fast your ship can move depends on where the wind is and how damaged it is too so I don't have any front cannons but I do have a broadside awesome we we damaged him a bit Let's see if we can launch another broadside on him Oh, we've been hit. Return fire. Let's change to our 
brief shot so that we can try and wipe out his crew a little bit. That'll take a bit to reload, obviously. So while we're doing that, we're going to try and avoid incoming fire as best as we can. Let's try and stay on the back end of him. Awesome. So we've managed to avoid getting shot while we've reloaded. Ow, now we got blasted. Jose de Alba's down and two Buccaneer Musketeers. That's not good news. And let's broadside him and attempt to board. We got him. Okay, let's command your boarding crew from the uh, bow. Let's go to the bow. So we have 77 of my own men to face off against 69 of his. Let's see how this goes. Alright, charge men, charge! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> try and use my pistol as much as we possibly can. Whoa, he's coming after me. Oh, he's going up. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's go up the crow's nest. Save our crew member. Uh oh, no. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, we got him. Awesome. Let's jump back down real quick. Pop our pistol. We got someone. We didn't kill him, we just wounded him. Reload my pistol. The ship isn't very big, so fighting over here is kind of interesting. Oh! Oh! Let's come this way. Get some snipe shots from over here. Got him! Yeah! Alright, let's swing across and climb the crow's nest and take them out. Let's get him! Oh, we got him! Nice! Victory! We won! We lost 19 men and 13 of our men were wounded. We lost some sailors in the fight as well, because that happens. <laughs> and we've grabbed all this good gear to sell. Because <laughs> I've already got way better gear, but we can sell this stuff, which is good. That nearly filled up my inventory. Oh, yes! Grab the jewelry, the weapons. We'll get some fish, and we'll add the vessel to my fleet, so that we can sell that later if it is worse than what we have. In fact, it is. Okay, so our Buccaneer Musketeers have leveled up. We're going to turn them into French Renegades, because they're the better opposed to Spanish Renegades. Now we've got Buccaneer Reavers out of our fighters. Those guys are actually quite good. Nice. Uh, Jose de Alba leveled up. I saw that. Awesome. Good job. Let's level up his strength. 
make him a bit stronger with Iron Flesh and give him a better proficiency in Swords. So he has two trait points. What can he use? Born Leader. Three plus to maximum company size. Nah. Quick Blade. That would be a very beneficial one for him to have, actually. Mm. Let's give him Quick Blade. So now he'll be faster with his sword, making him harder to be um, taken out. Let's level up these to Bucking and Musketeers. Apply that trait. Awesome. And let's go to the Karakos Islands to sell our spoils of war. So that was um, a naval battle, as I promised you guys you would see. Alright, let's move into the market and get rid of all of this rubbish. I could give this stuff to my companions, but they have better gear anyways. Very tempting. Anyways, moving on. Let's go sell that weapon cash that we picked up and the jewelry, which sells for quite a bit as you can see, which is good, very good for us. Let's go to the shipwright and we're going to go over to the snow and sell him for 3,114 gasters, which is great news. Let's repair our war brigantine, buy it some more ammo, replenish its crew and train my crew as well. So we have over $10,000 in our pocket right now. Which is actually amazing. Um, what do we want to do? Let's see if we can upgrade our cannons. We can to the Culverine. Deck one. Let's upgrade. And what is this? Stern can't be upgraded. Okay, so we've actually got the best cannons that our vessel can have right now, which is good news. Let's check out the tavern real quick, see if there's anyone here to pick up. No, there doesn't appear to be anyone to pick up. Master Weaponsmith, show me what you got, friend. Balanced handcrafted mace, handcrafted mace pistol. That's like an all-purpose weapon. <laughs> you just shoot people and then club them with the mace. It's awesome. These guys have some amazing weapons with them, but they are incredibly overpriced. Like, it's ridiculous. Let's talk to the suspicious man. What do you want, huh? <laughs> I'm looking for a job. How about some good old bodyguard duty? Whose body do I need to guard? A friend of mine is about to visit this town. Last time he passed it, though, he had some run-in with the local thugs. Some scum had tipped them. He's coming back, and they are craving for his blood. I fear they'll gut him the moment he steps off his deck. So I need you to catch up with him at the pier and walk him out of the harbour while he's looking like someone the thugs wouldn't want to mess with. Sounds easy, eh? There's 2,000 piastres in it for you. Once my friend is safe with escort, we do that. You are hired to pick up the friend of your employer at the deck of his ship and escort him safely out of the harbour. That man had some kind of altercation with the local crime in the past and your employer fears for his life. 
Let's continue. Alright, so we're doing a bodyguard detail, as you can all tell now. These missions vary, and they vary in scope and also in payment. So, here's us and a group of mercenaries who have been paid to protect this guy, who is the friend of our employer, and we have to walk him out of the harbour safe and sound. As you can see there's already some people coming to greet us. We've got a welcoming party. Let's take a shot at them. Got them. Assassins. Ooh. Let's quickly charge with our blade drawn. The more of them that we can kill before they kill of us, the better, because that'll mean the longer we live. Alright, so we're going to go back into first person mode. Well, that guy's all bloody. Uh, we got some extra friends to play with. I totally missed and then I got hit. Let's draw my blade. Show off my sword fighting abilities. Yeah. Bring it on! How about the names? Charge everyone, charge! Oh, this mute soundtrack is just overpowering. Reload my pistol. Now that he's safe. Ooh. I don't look half bad considering I got shot. I love how the town visitor's got a pistol and a sword of his own, yet he's not trying to help us. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you guys have been paid, I'll just stand back and let you die for me. Oh, we got some incoming friends. Oh, I shot him. Nice. Fire, lads! Nice. Got him. Charge. I killed that guy. Yeah, we beat him. Are there any more, I wonder? So far, this town visitor's going... Visit's going very well. He hasn't had anybody to be able to touch him. You've got some awesome bodyguards there, my friend. Anybody else? Did we make it? I think we made it out of town. Nice. Oh man, all the mercenaries are bloody up. You protected the mysterious visitor from the gang that was out for his blood. It's a good time. It's as good a time as any to claim your reward. Alrighty, so let's go back into the tavern and claim our reward from our suspicious friend. I'm back. What do you want, huh? About that job. You are quite literally a lifesaver, man. You bled that game dry. The only thing my friends got to fear now is being gored by their boss, branching antlers. <laughs> Unless Lover's Pox gets him first. Anyway, I promised you 2,000 piastres. Here they are. Anything else? I guess I should leave now. 
Awesome. So we're going to leave the tavern. And see if there's any men that want to come with us. No. Let's put to sea and find us some people to kill. Let's go down this way where we're actually not wanted as criminals. A brig. Now that's a great ship. At least starting out it is. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a lot of Spanish down here too. Whoops. Let's get out of here before the Spanish come after us. Because those are the guys that hate us. <laughs> Man, Spain's got everyone. A lot of land, actually. It's not so great that we're enemies of Spain. <laughs> okay. Convoy, so he's not going to come after me, which is good news. Uh, that guy will come after me, which is not good news. I want to go up to Trinity Bay and see if we can hang out in some French territory for a while and take on some native tribesmen. Alright, Quartermaster. Need to manage our cargo. We're down to one fish. That's going to go a long way. Uh, gather the landing party. We're going ashore. I see some natives over there. Let's quickly save our progress. Desperados. I want to go after the native war party and not have to fight those desperados. Okay, so there's 56 of us against 58 of them. Let's charge the enemy. And the way my forces are composed, I'm not going to be much for strategy, so let's just go. Alright, so we've got our horse, we've got our men, and we've got a nice open field for me to ride my horse around on. Everybody move forward and attack. I don't quite see them yet. My horse is amazing. It's very base level. But it's all I can ride. So I'll take it. I move faster on my horse than on foot, eh? So why not? But I'm going to scout ahead and see if I can find these native forces and see what's going on with them. Ah, uh, yes, here they are. Okay, they look pretty tough. Okay, let's get back. Ouch, my horse just got struck with an arrow or an axe or something. Oh, I shot him! That's an amazing shot. Alright, our men are engaged. Perfect. Let's get in there and help them. Things are going incredibly well for us here, actually. Which is quite surprising, considering the last time that we fought natives, we got annihilated. I'm just not hitting hard enough to kill these guys yet. Whoa, they look scary. We won! Yeah, huzzah! Well done, men. Only three of you died. 
Eight of the enemies surrender to you while you while your hold and your prisoner management skill allows you to keep up to seven captives within you. Okay. Oh, we got tribal armor. Nice. Nice, I leveled up. So did some of my men. Let's turn them into French renegades. Buccaneer reavers. And some buccaneer fighters. Buccaneer reavers can now become Dutch renegades. Which are quite good. Execute the prisoners now. Nah. Those prisoners are worth a lot of money. So let's level us up. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Hmm. Gambling. <laughs> Cheat at cards. Um, no. I don't have any power strike or precise shot. Let's move my intelligence up. So we got options. Um, I want some herbalism so we can heal better. My navigation needs a buff. my firearm abilities two-handed let's take a look at our traits the available ones to us peddler hmm. that could be very beneficial in fact all of these could be I'm going to go with Peddler, if I can. I don't have enough points, okay. Quick Blade. Yes, let's get Quick Blade. Okay, so a bit faster. And those jungle fighters are going to come for my ass next episode, guys. So, um, hope you guys have enjoyed. My name is edox 82 and uh, we're going to come back to Blood and Gold Caribbean next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And um, this is going to have to be the end of the episode, guys. So, <laughs> I'll be coming back tomorrow, and I'll definitely be... Um, I'll definitely be posting some more of this Blood and Gold Caribbean. But, uh... Another thing is, I'm probably going to be... What is it, um... Stop that. Starting up a new Let's Play as well. I'm not quite sure which one yet. But, uh... Hope you guys have enjoyed, and... I'll see you guys next time. For a lunchtime business, we can see more than 300 people come through our shop within two hours. Time is one of those things we just don't have.
Thank you. 